New body cam footage exposes Amber trying to steal Johnny's penthouses. There's new proof that Amber heard faked her stories to steal everything from Johnny Depp. We've heard so many testimonies about this already but nothing can beat a good old video. The body cam footage from the cops who responded to her 911 call. It's the 911 call that technically ended their marriage. This is a friend of yours? Yeah. Okay, so what did she say that this guy was assaulted her or hit her? Physically assaulting her, yeah. Okay, but this isn't a boyfriend or anything like that? Yes, yeah, it's... 20, it could be, yeah. Remember when the police extremely embarrassed Amber by just doing their jobs? Yeah, we'll never forget about that. That's the time when Amber and her friends called the cops on Johnny because they claimed that he abused her that day and just left. The cops were called twice but both times. They didn't believe a single thing that came out of Amber's mouth. They were on the stand during the defamation trial too. The police officers who responded to a domestic violence call at the penthouse of the actors say that they saw no marks on her face after a fight between the couple in which Amber says she was assaulted by her then-husband. Nobody would give me their names. Now, that's a little unusual, isn't it? No, it's not. A lot of people don't like us. The cops saw her crying, yes, but not beat up. The first respondent was enough to Amber to check her face. Her penthouse was spotless then. The second respondent revealed that the house was weirdly messy after that. So people thought that maybe this was staged and they were all ganging up on poor Johnny to benefit from him. She also refused to talk to officers the second time and had no signs of an injury, although they acknowledged again that she'd been crying and was red-faced. During their testimony, one of the cops even said that just because I see a female with pink cheeks and pink eyes doesn't mean something happened. He probably got a feeling too that this was all made up. Now we got a hold of the body cam footage from one of the officers. In the video you can see that no one was willing to go close to the officers. No. The, the other officers came by and checked the apartment they, and the other apartment as well. Yeah, okay. It must have been like a double call. Oh, okay. Who's Amber? Who? Okay. And Johnny? Is definitely not here. He's not here? Okay. Left oh. probably like two hours ago. Okay. Yeah. Josh Drew was the one who opened the door. Amber, who is supposed to be the victim in this situation, could be seen at the back. Johnny had already left the penthouse by the time officers arrived. They said that they had no idea who Amber was or that she was married to Johnny. The cops said neither Amber nor anyone at the penthouse complex was willing to tell him or the other officers who her husband was. Things could have gone another way if they knew about it, don't you think? Well, there you have it. Officers of the law who would never lie under oath said that there was nothing wrong when they arrived at the scene. And you know what happened next? Amber's legal team tried to make up a lame excuse as to why her face was spotless. They suggested that Heard could have covered her injuries with makeup because at that point she still wanted to protect her husband's image. They also asked officers why they didn't investigate a potential case of domestic violence more thoroughly. How could they when there's literally zero proof that abuse took place? The police did everything correctly, and we can see from this video that Amber was just fine. It's clear that they're trying to milk Johnny of his money. We already know that a lot of people use him to get what they want. Amber, his own wife, was also like that. He is so generous to allow her and her friends to stay there. It's a shame that she didn't appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Check out our other videos for more shocking news.